So, to err as human, to keep on erring as human, to learn nothing from your erring as human. You see, one thing man has learned from history which man has never learned anything from history. The wars we began fighting when we were first born, uh, back in the Garden of Eden, are still being fought today. And they will still be fought until the Lord Jesus comes back and takes over the uh, political arena of this world and rules it with an iron rod of iron. Now that uh, businessman, happily married, who was happily married and very successful, got sick of his situation, felt so guilty over everything, that he confessed it to his wife. And of course, uh, the shit hit the fan. And uh, every time they had an argument, it would come up again. They argued quite often after this, of course, to be expected. He couldn't sleep at night. He decided to, to go back to his church and try and uh, get some peace. Repented, 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 and repented again and again and again and again, fasted. Of course, he was doing this church by himself. By then, his wife had completely divorced herself from him and the uh, Christianity. He ended up sleeping in another room. And then he ended up leaving. Still hoping for um, redemption. And um, reconciliation. Because by then, his wife had found another man. He found uh, that he just kept drinking. So, even though they were still living together at, at the stage with his wife, arguments would occur, he'd go off back to the brothel. And so here, one minute, he had a wife, who he was sleeping with, then he was sleeping by himself, drinking more and relieving himself at the brothel to try and find some worth. And so that could be a scenario with uh, any addiction. Gambling could be the same. In this instance here, he lost his marriage. This guy lost his marriage and lost the respect of his children. If you had an addiction to gambling, you could lose the family fortune. You could remortgage the house. You could ruin financially the family and lose respect as well. Of course, some of those other things, gluttony, you end up overweight, self-worth is worth nothing. And you have health risks and health issues. And you can lose the respect of your spouse, partner, and your children and family. Any of those other addictions. Pornography, same scenario. You lose self-respect. You finally get caught out on it. You lose the respect of your family. Your self-worth worth is nil. And it generally leads to going to prostitutes. So pornography, prostitutes, prostitute, pornography. So then you could start losing financially, getting into debt. And you have health risks as well. So any addictions, we're not designed to have addictions, we're designed to have joy, peace, and a hope, everlasting, and eternal life according to the scripture. When I used to do prison ministry, I used to tell the guys in the prison that you guys might be behind bars, be behind bars, but a lot of people in the churches and in society out there are actually caught up 
and locked up in their own homemade cells behind bars through addictions and all sorts of other issues. You're not free from this even if you go to church. Going to church and being a good Christian could be just a veil that hides you from the real world and from all your Christian mates. Because inside you could be a ravening wolf. It says that the heart of man is deceitfully wicked above all things. Who can tame it? Through the Holy Spirit, only God. See, our bodies were designed to receive the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of God. We need to put to death the passions that are ready to jump out at you and get on with the business of eternal life with God. That's the message. That's the hope when that is the whole preaching message of Christianity. That's why Jesus Christ came down. That's why Israel is still there today. The Old Testament is the history of Israel. Even though Israel failed to enter the promised land, it didn't mean they failed to enter into heaven. They had 40 years wandering the desert from place to place, abiding by God's law and an opportunity to get into eternal life, even though they missed out upon the promise on the earth. Now that's the same scenario with you and I. We might be failures in a lot of things here on this earth, in sports and commitments and all sorts of areas. But one thing you don't want to fail in is in the opportunity your Father God has given you to live forever. That's your promise, that's your right, that's your inheritance. Don't let anybody take that from you. Don't get ripped off. Don't get sucked in by the system, by often religion, by even a lot of the messages preached at a lot of churches. You run the race and you win that prize because you are the one that it's for and it benefits you and to everybody that you associate with from that time on. Be blessed.